Hi guys, it's Modesty. Welcome back to my channel. So one excuse my hair, I did just wash it so it's a little bit like a rat's nest looking, but that's because it's wet and it's up in a bun, so I apologize. Anyways, moving on to what this video is about. So, I did do my Dollar Tree makeup challenge a few months back. I think I uploaded it actually May 1st, so it was quite a while back. And I actually got a ton of hate on that video. And um, I, a few people actually said that I thought I was too good for dollar store makeup and that I was snooty and rude. I don't understand where that all came from, but... Then someone gave me this idea for this video, you should do half dollar store and half makeup that you're comfortable with. So that's what I decided to do. I thought it was a really good idea and I thought it would kind of battle some of those hate comments that I got because just so you guys know, I go to the dollar store for absolutely everything. All of my dishes are from the dollar store, half my makeup is from the dollar store and I do use it. And basically all of my seasonal decor is from the dollar store. I love the dollar store. I also organize my makeup with all the dollar store products. I'm all about the dollar store so I'm not too good for it so please don't say that without knowing who I am. I understand that my blush and bronzer look a little bit cray cray in that video. It was just a little fun challenge, but I decided to really see how these products go up against the more high end products. So what I'm doing is a half dollar, is I'm doing a half dollar store and half high end um, makeup look. This isn't about how like the actual look is, this is about how the products go against each other. So before you watch any further, Comment down below which side you think is a dollar store and which side you think is high end. And put in the comments, just I want to see what you guys initially think before you watch the video. Uh, this is the look that I came up with. I know the colors aren't 100% matching. Like, I think they look pretty darn close. But um, they're not going to be 100% matching because, you know, it's really hard matching colors identically. But I think I did the best that I could. If you would like to see how each applies and my thoughts throughout the video, and if you'd like to see a clip at the end of which ones held out better throughout the day and my final thoughts, then just keep watching. Okay, so we are doing half dollar store and half high end. For the high end side, I am using one product that isn't high end. It's only because I've never bought like a high end, well, okay, one time years ago, but it's just a setting powder, but um, the real purpose of this video is to use products I'm comfortable with versus dollar store products just so that we can see how they both hold up and which one is the winner for depending on the product. So I am using Rimmel Stay Matte for the setting powder on the high end side but that is it when it comes to everything else is high end. So um, I really just wanted to only use products that I'm able to compare so since I couldn't find any eyebrow products at the dollar store um, and I wanted it to be an even match. Um, I'm not going to count eyebrows in this video, but I am going to fill both my brows in with a new tinted brow gel that I got in my Ipsy bag. But that's it. This isn't part of the video. This is just so that I don't have a weird looking face. For this side of my face, I'm going to be doing dollar store products. So I'm taking my LA Colors liquid makeup. Now, so that it's a fair thing, I'm using the same brushes. Uh, for all the products just so it's not like oh well it's because of the brush you used so I'm using my morphe m439 and I put it on the back of my hand and I'm just going to start applying it to the skin okay so that is after one layer Basically, it doesn't really look like I applied anything, I feel like, yet. Um, it looks more like a tinted moisturizer, but I'm going to go on with another layer. Okay, so that is after two layers. I can be pretty happy with the coverage. I did a more sheer to medium amount of coverage after two layers. And I did four pumps on the back of my hand. All right, so now for the other side, I'm going to be going in with my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And I picked this one because it's the, like the exact same color as that foundation and I really wanted it to match. So I did the same amount of pumps on the back of my hand. I'm using the same brush. After one layer, I did notice that it did blend out a lot faster than the other side. It took a lot to get a lot of the streaks out. Um, I still feel like there's a couple spots that are a little blotchy on this side. 
So I feel like this is higher coverage and this is after one layer, but because I want to do the same amount, I'm going to go in with a second layer. That is after layer number two. Can you guys see the blotchiness right here? And as you guys can see, I'm blending on this side, but that blotchiness isn't going away. So as of right now, I feel like it just kind of moves the product around my face and it doesn't actually sit in my skin. So NARS and uh, LA Colors Liquid Makeup. Now I'm going to set the foundation. So I'm using the LA Colors Just Nude Setting Powder. I've used this before and I've talked about how much I actually really like it. And I'm just using a large powder brush and I'm just going to set that. I like the extra coverage that this powder has just given me. I still see a little bit of blotchiness right there, but it's definitely not as noticeable. And I'm definitely a lot happier with this side of the face now that uh, I've applied the powder. Now I'm gonna be setting the other side, and this is the Rimmel Stay Matte. Both sides of my face look a lot more even now. Once again, this is dollar store, dollar store side, and this is the high end side. Um, I'm going to be using the bronzer and blush that I did use my Dollar Tree makeup challenge. I, this is the LA Colors uh, bronzer and this is just in the shade bronze. And for the high end side, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever one. This was the closest match I could get. Once again, this isn't about the look that I'm creating. It's just seeing how they wear throughout the day. And so since this is the closest I can get, this is what we're going to do. It's not going to fully match. But um, the point is the battle of the bronzers. So start out with the dollar store side. I'm just taking a, another large powder brush. This is the expert powder brush and this is just one from icing. I'm using the same brush for both bronzers. So I'm just going to take some of this on here. Sure it's covering the brush. As you can see right there. And I'm going to apply it the same way that I do on each side. Another reason I chose the Makeup Forever one is because these both have like a shimmer slash sheen to them because it's supposed to be bringing light to the face. So there we go. This is the dollar store side. And now we're going to be doing the high end side with the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in the color number 151. Makeup Forever bronzer, I noticed that I do have to pick up more product it seems like but it's giving off almost the same sheen on each side so that just it makes me feel better about the other bronzer that's definitely only a bronzer do not use it for contouring i do notice that the uh the makeup forever bronzer it did blend out a lot more nicely like i don't have to be as particular about it and it looks more even and this side i feel like it has a little bit more shine to it. It's a little bit too shiny for my taste, um, and it didn't blend out as well. I feel like I have to keep going over it, but it's not terrible. For blush today, I'm using the LA Colors Blush in Toast. And for the high end, I'm using my Too Faced Sweetheart uh, Perfect Flush Blush in the shade Peach Beach, and I'm mainly using the center shades. As you can see, they match pretty well. I'm using the same brush once again. I'm using the Morphe E4 brush. This one, is extreme like look at all that product I definitely have to knock off a lot and I'm just gently applying this too much and then I'm just picking up some of the peach beach knocking the same amount off and I'm applying it in the same spot and in the same way Blush definitely blends in better with the bronzer. These clash just a hair, but honestly, they're pretty darn close so far. But we'll see how they hold up throughout the day. Just going to uh, quickly just fill in the brows with the tinted brow gel. This isn't part of the video. So we are going to be starting out with the brow bone. And so I'm taking the LA Colors eyeshadow palette in Trendy. I'm taking this matte um, ivory shade. And I'm just gonna be touching this on the brow bone. I'm taking the clean side and I'm just going to blend that out. For the high end side, I'm taking my 35O palette from Morphe and I'm taking the similar shade. It's like a 
matte whitish skin tone color. Taking the clean side and I'm just going to blend that out. So there is the brow highlight so far. Now I'm taking, going back into the little trendy palette and I'm taking, taking this very light, uh, light brown. I think it's matte, I'm pretty sure it's matte. And I'm gonna be putting this in a crease and I'm using a E40 brush from Sigma. I would say it's similar to Mac Soft Brown. So I'm going to take the Mac Soft Brown and I'm just gonna be putting it in the crease on the other side. Picking up the product, knocking off the excess. Just so that they match a little bit better. So the same color, just the MAC one is a little bit more pigmented. Moving on to the next color, I'm going to take this like camel color right here. So it's just like a light mustardy brown. Taking this on the Sigma E25 and I'm just going to put this in the crease also. I'm going to go back in with a second layer. I really want to boost up that pigmentation. with the E40 just to blend that out a little bit. Now in the Morphe 35O palette, I find when I mix these two colors right here together, I get the similar color. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm applying this the exact same way with the exact same brush. E40 and I'm going to blend out just like I did on the other eye. Taking this really warm chocolate color and this is in the trendy palette also. I'm going to take this on the E45, a little bit chalky, and I'm going to apply this to the outer V. And then I'm going to take my E40 and I'm just going to lightly blend that out. Taking Swiss chocolate, so it's pretty similar. Well, I'm gonna mix these two to kind of get a, a similar color. Um, these are both from MAC, this is Swiss chocolate, and then this is Saddle. I'm gonna blend it out. There's a little bit more warmth on the high end side than the other side, but like I said, I'm trying to get the colors to match as much as possible. I think they look close enough to me for me to be kind of happy. I might add just a touch of Embark. Literally just a touch of it. Right in the outer socket. I did just go in to the trendy palette and add a touch of this just to make them match and that's a whole lot better. To finish up the eye look, I'm just going to take a little bit more of the highlight shade from each palette that I originally used and I'm going to touch this on the inner corner. I'm using the LA Colors liquid liner um, on this side and then I'm going to be using the Blink Cosmetics um, liquid eyeliner on this side. I love how this eyeliner applies. It's so smooth and very black. But now we're gonna be moving on to the other eye where I'm using the Bling Cosmetics Ultra Thin Liquid Liner Eye Pen. Okay, so I can already tell I'm going to have to apply a lot more pressure and product to this. Just, the applicator is not as smooth and so it's harder to work with and I keep having to go like this. I feel like it's drying out, but this is brand new. It's already matte when I do apply it, so it doesn't have to like sit there and dry. All right, I got Ben Ford a little bit, I apologize. I have more control over the Blink Cosmetics one. But once again, I don't know how I feel about like how hard it is to get product out. Okay, so while I let the liquid eyeliner dry, I am going to do the lips. 
So for, for the lips today, we're going with red because things I could get to match. This is the NYC Retro Red, and I got this at the dollar store. I was really surprised when I saw this. I wanted, to, I wanted to have a lip closer lip that was like the same consistency, so this is the closest I could get. This is the NARS um, Velvet Matte Lip Pencil, uh, and this is the closest red I can get with having the same consistency. It's pretty well. I think the NARS one is a little darker. Okay, so I applied the red lip on both. This side is a little darker, but that's okay. They have the same consistency. I can feel it. So, we'll see how those wear. All right, so now that the eyeliner has dried, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. I curled it, I saw that some of the Blink Cosmetics liquid eyeliner came up a little bit when I was curling, and the LA Colors one stayed in place. So now I'm gonna be applying mascara, and I went with two mascaras that had like a similar wand. So this is the uh, LA Colors mascara, just the one that I found at Dollar Tree, and then this is Blink Cosmetics uh, ma Mascara Amplified. So we will see how these each apply. I'm gonna go on with the dollar store side. Okay, so that is after one coat. And now I'm gonna be going in with the Amplified Mascara for my other side. The colors one is definitely a lot more dry. And then that is after one coat. So as you can see, there's a lot more because it wasn't as dry. Now I'm going with coat number two. Okay, and that's after two coats. And then I'm gonna go on with coat number two on the amplified mascara side. So this definitely did more to my lashes than this one. I feel like this one just kind of coated my lashes, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, so here is the face, dollar store, high end. The lips, high end, dollar store. And then the cheeks, dollar store, high end. And now for the eyes, this is a dollar store and this is the high this is the high end. Once again, ignore the eyebrows. Okay, so that is it for applying all the products. This is a dollar store. It's, this is the dollar store side and this is the high end side. So here is the overview of it. So far, I'm pretty happy with how it all turned out. I like, as of right now, I would like this eyeliner a whole lot better. I really don't like this eyeliner. The only thing I like about it so far is the fact that it instantly dries matte. But that's what I, I can just wait for stuff to dry. And then, uh, honestly, pretty happy with how the face looks. This side's a little bit more shiny, but not too much. And um, I like this mascara better so far, but the blush, I feel I'm pretty happy with it on both sides. So now that you have seen the whole look up close and you guys got a good idea about how it sits on the face and everything, I'll be back in a few hours to show you how it looks in a few hours. Okay guys, so it's been about, what time is it right now? 9.05, so it's been like seven and a half hours. So right around a work day. So yeah, we'll just zoom in and see what we have. This is just the outer view of how it all held up. Once again, this is the dollar store side and this is the high end side. Okay, so the lips, as you can tell, it all pretty much just faded. Um, high end side, uh, dollar store. This faded a little bit more, um, but they both faded and you know, a normal person would reapply color throughout the day, but just for this test, I didn't reapply. So this is no reapplication or anything like that. And uh, once again, this was an NYC lipstick and this was uh, a NARS matte lip pencil. Now for the blush and bronzer, um, I'd say the high end side held up pretty good. I got a little creasing, I got a little bit of creasing right here, but um, this always happens because I do have very defined laugh lines um, from smiling too much, of course. Uh, but yeah, so here is the blush and bronzer up close. And then here is the dollar store side. I would say like pick, um, color wise, the dollar store side, uh, held up better, but once again, um, 
they were a lot brighter and more shimmery than the um, high end side. So, got that. Let's see, there's like no coverage right here anymore. So the foundation basically is just pff, gone. It's pretty much like I didn't wear foundation or anything like that. But over here, I still got some coverage. Um, it's faded a little bit, but not terribly. Like I would still feel comfortable leaving the house. Of course, with reapplying other things. And then the eyeshadow, I know I'm looking at the viewfinder, but I'm, just, I'm trying to see for myself too. Now, eyeliner wise, this, uh, the dollar store side held up so much better. I don't know if you guys can tell, but uh, when I was looking in the mirror, there's a ton of gaps where the eyeliner faded. And this is the high, this eyeliner is like $26. So yeah, it, it faded and there was all these gaps. Um, the mascara did hold up better. Like my eyelashes are still curled and I do still feel a little bit of mascara on them. The mascara for the dollar store, honestly, it's like I'm not wearing mascara. It literally feels like it all just disappeared. I didn't see any flaking or smudging or anything. It just, I don't know, uh, broke down throughout the day. So there's like nothing left over here. And this side, it still has a little bit of mascara, but um, no flaking or anything from either of them. I didn't notice any of that. Now for the eyeshadow, both held up pretty good. There is no creasing or anything. Uh, well, just a hair of creasing but like you really have to be looking for creasing to notice it on this eye but I mean I could leave the house with this eye look and it looks totally fine so honestly the eyeshadows are pretty darn good um I kind of like this a uh, brow bone highlight better than this one and this is the high-end side so yeah I'm really digging the uh trendy palette by LA Co LA Colors Cosmetics um, but yeah, so that is what we have. That finishes up this video. For when it comes to, I'd say like foundation and everything, I really do prefer high end. Um, but things like uh, mascara and eyeliner and that kind of stuff, I feel like there's no point in like spending a ton of money on like the expensive stuff. The dollar store stuff was pretty darn good. So um, yeah, I really like how that held up. I like how this bronzer and blush um, on the high-end side it blended out a whole lot better and um, the colors were very similar so just strictly for blending reasons I would go more towards the high end but if you're on a budget and you just don't mind taking time to blend the dollar store ones are perfectly fine like they're absolutely amazing so go right on ahead if you're on a budget um, yeah so I mean that's my thoughts on the products the lip products it depends on how much you want to reapply. But anyway, so that's me it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give a big old thumbs up and comment down below. If you have any more, like, half one thing and half the other of, like, makeup-wise for my face, let me know any requests you have down below in the comments. And other than that, hit subscribe so you don't miss any more of my videos. And I think that's everything I want to say. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.